Welcome to another Mr. James Accounting Tutorials. Today we're going to look at a past people problem and deal with appropriation account, June 2017, number 5, A and B. Okay. We'll let's cut the, uh, what is required of us here, using the information above, prepare stock of cooperative income and expenditure account for the year and the 31st March 2016. Okay. Uh, so we need to provide the examiner with a cooperative income and expenditure account. Right, what we have here is the gross profit on our area, that's an expense, bank fees, another expenditure, and fees pays for training of members, 2800. That's another expense, and the interest from investments that is income. Okay, retain profits that is income from previous years. So first we head up properly, income and expenditure account for the year and then 31st March. But then the gross profit, add interest from investments, total 46,910. There'll be less the expenses or the ex on our area, 5,500. Bank fees, 1,100. Training, 2,800. The total expenses, 9,400. Net profit, 37,510. And we bring in the retained profit brought down. And we get the retained profit carried down. Okay, so that's the end of part E. That part B, what is required is based on the requirements above, prepare stock of cooperative income appropriation account for the year ended 31st March 2016. What are the requirements above? The Cooperative Act requires that 25% of profit must be transferred to a reserve funds account. Okay, so 25% of the profits that we just calculated must be transferred to a reserve account. And the cooperative by law requires that 20% profits after such transfer be thrown as retained profits. Notice it is after. So your your profits, your retained profit should be 20% after you take out this 25% for your reserve and all the other profits in between would be paid out to as dividends okay so our approach to this would be to take the head in again and we bring in the retained profits okay and from that we're going to take the appropriations. The reserve fund is 25% of 50,510. That's 12,503. Next, we to calculate the cooperative 20%. After this, we will take the, the 50,000 and minus the 12,503, I will get 20% equals 7,501. I will put that underneath as the retained profit carried down. Okay, now what's the, the total appropriations then would be 50,000 minus the retained Profits, we get 42,509, so we put that in. Okay, 
and then we can calculate how much was paid out as dividend by minusing the 12,503 from the 42,509. And we get as a balancing figure, 30,006. I suggest you study this problem quite carefully. And if you find it helpful, you can leave a message in the comments section below and make a request for other videos. Thank you for watching.